Hi, this is David from XBRL US. Today we're going to look at how to get the XBRL filed data add-in installed to your Office 365 or M365 Excel application. I'm doing it from the web. You can also do it from your desktop. It's pretty similar. So first thing I want to do is click the insert option on the menu and then click add-ins or get add-ins if you're working from the desktop. Type in XBRL in the search option. Click add and continue. And in a few seconds, it's installed. It'll tell you that. Uh, sometimes the add-in buttons won't appear. If they don't appear, just click the actual menu option, XBRL file data, and they should appear below in the ribbon. If you open the query wizard, you'll see that you need to click login and enter your credentials to get started. If you don't have credentials, click get a free account and credentials. The task pane is asking me to allow the window to open. When I do that, it comes up behind Office. And here, the page on the XBRL US website, you can either register for a free account or log in if you already have an account with us. So I'm going to log in. Now that I've logged in, the interface on the web page has changed. And you can see I have a couple of uh, client ID and secret pairs. I want a new one for my Office application, so I'm going to click Create Client. I'm going to give it a very simple name. And in a minute, I get a client ID and secret. You want to copy those off to a secure location. Once I've got that, I can close down this page and go back to the primary application. And I'm ready to log in. I'm again going to put my username and password in, as well as the client ID and secret. Looks like I need to scroll down a little bit. And then click log in. And the interface in the task pane changes to give me a drop-down menu of functions. You need to choose a function, at least one search parameter from the list of options, and as many data to return fields as needed, and then click the search button. So we'll do a quick, simple fact search. I can either search on entity, like Microsoft, Or if I don't want to look at the company, I want to look at a specific report. I can look at something like a 10Q or a 10K or an 8K from Microsoft. That's the one parameter that I'm choosing. Then in terms of data to return, I want to see something like the name of the elements that they've used, Maybe the values for those elements, the fiscal period, the fiscal year, and the date that they filed. Those are the fields. That's the data that's going to populate into the uh, rows in the main worksheet. I click search, and in a couple of seconds, I have that data. I can modify the query that was used to pull that data back. I'd refer you to the documentation to get details about how to use specific facets of the query mechanism. I hope this has been helpful.